Welcome into the studio. We're going to do a little upgrade today. Yay! Do you happen to have an Elegoo Neptune 3? Yes? Fantastic. No? Don't worry. Slice makes upgrades for a ton of other machines too, and I'll have a link on the screen and in the description below. Go check them out. And even if you've never upgraded a hot end before, don't worry, it's super simple and it only takes a few minutes to complete and it is well worth the results, I promise. First, here's a bit of a teaser. Look at those layer lines. Those are beautifully fat and from a 0.8 millimeter slice engineering Gamma Master nozzle printed on this massive Elegu Neptune 3 Max. Those are the results after we upgraded the stock hot end with Slice's new Copperhead upgrade kit. Now hang out with me for a few minutes while we install this new kit and then we'll look at the print results when we're done. Some time ago, Slice Engineering reached out to me and asked if I had an Elegoo Neptune 3 for a secret new upgrade kit that they were working on. Well, I was in luck because we just happened to have a Neptune 3 Max sitting right outside the studio and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. They sent it over to us to look at and of course to share with uh, all of you. The Neptune series of 3D printers from Elegoo have always printed really well, but the hot ends are rather basic. And if you want more performance, like for instance, a flow rate boost that gets you up to 35 cubic millimeters per second, then you'll want to be looking at this upgrade kit from Slice Engineering. You can head over to their website for all the nerdy details, but essentially you're getting their high performance copperhead hot end with their new Gamma Master nozzle um, that has an improved cold zone in this particular kit that separates the stock PTFE liner from the heat block. All of that basically means you're gonna get less potential clogging, smoother filament flow, and better quality prints. Now installation is quite easy. It should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, but before you start, make sure you heat up the hot end, remove the filament, then let it cool completely. Don't be like me and forget this step because uh, now I'll have to heat this up with a torch and remove the filament. So yeah, don't be like me. Start by removing the fan shroud on the front of the tool head. For this Neptune 3 Max, it's just two screws on either side using a 2mm hex wrench or driver. Be careful not to damage any of the wiring. There are two fan connections that need to be carefully removed as well. Once you get that removed, you'll want to remove the heater cartridge and the thermistor from the heat block. In order to get to them, remove the silicone sock from the hot end if yours has one. Then on the underside, next to the nozzle, you'll find a set screw that will release the heater cartridge. Use a 1.5mm driver to remove that. The thermistor is held captive with the Phillips head screw on the side of the heat block. Carefully remove this so you don't damage any of the wires. Thermistor wires are super, super uh, delicate. You should be able to slip both the heater cartridge and thermistor uh, out of the heat block. And be careful, this is where most people damage the wires. And sometimes, like I said, you can push from the opposite side to get that heater cartridge out if you need to. Now to remove the actual hot end for replacement, there are two 1.5 millimeter screws on the underside that need to be removed, then a 1.5 millimeter set screw in the back that needs to be loosened. And then you can gently slide the stock hot end out and it's ready for replacement. Installing your new Slice Neptune 3 upgrade kit is actually much quicker than the removal of the stock hot end. Place the PTFE liner inside the throat of the hot end and slip that up inside the tool head assembly. Make sure it's shoved up in there all the way. Square it up and tighten that set screw on the back. Remove the two millimeter screw from the side of the hot end and that's so that we can install the heater cartridge and thermistor into the new slice hot end. Apply a generous amount of thermal paste to the heater cartridge and uh, try not to make a mess like I always do and uh, slip the heater cartridge right in from the side, then install the thermistor. And when you're replacing the two millimeter screw, make sure to trap the wiring with the screw by putting the screw between the two wires of the thermistor when you're installing it. Um, it just helps it keep itself snug and, and so it doesn't move around. And then of course, clean up any thermal paste um, that you may have accidentally squirted everywhere and uh, replace your silicone sock. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Pretty simple. Now to simply reattach the tool head cover, making sure to plug both fans back into the PCB on each side and then screw it down. And last thing, definitely make sure you don't miss this step. You're gonna need to go through the Z offset process again on the printer, uh, just to make sure you don't dive that nozzle right into your build plate. And it's that easy, you're done. Because I requested a 0.8 millimeter nozzle from Slice, so we could have some big fat layers. In my slicer settings, I just created a new profile for a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, and then I threw a couple of primitive shapes on the platform to uh, test the hot end. First was a simple rectangle, no top or bottom layers, no infill, and only a single wall. It's being printed in Polymaker Carbon Fiber PLA, and it prints absolutely beautifully, like butter. It's gorgeous. And I hope you're seeing some B-roll of it. Um, the layer lines are absolutely just perfection. Next, I used the same printing settings, 
but this time with the cylinder in vase mode. So this print has a wall thickness of 0.8 millimeters and a layer height of 0.6 millimeters, and it turned out absolutely perfect as well, um, just like you'd expect. And that's a Polymaker Purple Silk PLA. Ultimately, I am super impressed with just how easy it was to upgrade, and of course the print results are fantastic, like you'd expect. Slice makes good stuff. As always, I will have links on the screen and in the description if you want to go check them out. Also, like I mentioned earlier, they make upgrade kits for a lot of machines. Head over there and uh, take a look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.